Okay, so here's a nice little question testing your understanding of a welfare concept, uh, namely consumer surplus. Let's have a look at the question. The diagram shows an individual's demand curve for a product, downward sloping demand curve. The supplier charges a price OP, but limits the quantity available to each purchaser to OQ. The question is, which area measures the consumer's surplus? When you're ready, press the pause button, have a think about the answer. Hopefully you come back to me in a few seconds and we can both agree. So the correct answer is B, X plus Y. Consumer surplus is, of course, a measure of welfare. It's the area beneath the demand curve and above the price. The difference between what the consumer is willing to pay and able to pay and what the consumer actually has to pay. So the price charge is P, the output is Q, so clearly X plus Y is consumer surplus. It lies above the price and below the demand curve, but there's no surplus for an output that's not consumed. So the supplier is restricting quantity to Q, therefore the, the area Z is not consumer surplus because the output is not being consumed by this person.